In this session I'm going to show how to find the decimal equivalent of 1 over 29 using the by one more than the one before rule, which in Sanskrit is a card he kena purvena. The rule tells us to take the digit before the 9, which is 2, and add 1, making 3, and that becomes our divisor. So we divide the 3 into the numerator 1, getting 0, remainder 1, and if you remember from the previous session, we annex the remainder to the 0, making 10 for the next step. And then we continue dividing by 3. 3 into 10 goes 3, remainder 1. 3 into 13 goes 4, remainder 1. 3 into 14 goes 4, remainder 2. 3 into 24, 8. And then 2, remainder 2. And then 7, remainder 1. 5, remainder 2. 8, remainder 1. 6, 2, 0, remainder 2. 3 into 20 goes 6 times with 2 left over and then 8 remainder 2. The next step, uh, 3 into 28, goes 9 times remainder 1. And in fact this is the halfway stage. And we can tell that uh, because the digits now will start um, uh, going in their uh, complement cycle. So here we have a, a 9 uh, which is the complement of 0. The next step is 3 into 19 goes 6 times, remainder 1, and here again we have the complement uh, of 3. 6 is the complement of 3. The halfway stage is also where we get the difference between the denominator and the numerator, 29 take away 1, is 28, and that also uh, gives us an indication of the halfway stage. Well, we can stop the division there because we can now just write down the complements. 551, 72, 41, 379, 31, recurring. And that's the decimal equivalent through very easy, simple steps and consisting of 28 digits. We can extend this to uh, fractions like 1 13th, and 1 13th, uh, we can. Um, using our knowledge of equivalent fractions, express it as 3 over 39. And so, in this case, our divisor is one more than this 3, which is 4. Uh, 4 divided into 3 goes 0, remainder 3. 4 into 30 is 7, remainder 2. 4 into 27 is 6, remainder 3. And then 9. 2 remainder 1, 4 into 12, 3, and we're back at the start. And you will notice also the complement digits working here, where we have the 0, 7, 6, and the complements of those three digits are 9, 2, 3, which is what we have in the second half. And so we can put the recurring uh, dots there. The same uh, happens with 1 seventh. We can express that as 7 over 49, and again use the same rule, this time with the divisor 5. 5 divided into 7 is 1 remainder 2. 5 into 21 is 4 remainder 1. And we have 2 remainder 4. 8 remainder 2. 5 remainder 3. And 7. And here it recurs, 142857.